Hi everyone! Today is December 15th and I decided to do a Christmas tag video and it can be a uh, holiday, it doesn't have to be Christmas. There are a couple questions though that kind of Christmas specific. Um, anyway, I just like came up with 10 questions and I am going to answer these questions and if you see this video and you would like to play along please do so and make your own Christmas tag video and if you do make your own video please let me know down below so that I can come and watch your video okay and the questions will be in the description box so you can read the questions down there okay so <clears throat> excuse me first question is do you have any traditions that are just like for your family not like regular traditions of everybody has yes we have a f quite a few actually so and I should say that I really don't care if I don't do these things but my daughters want every Christmas exactly the same with all these traditions followed to the letter so <clears throat> we always have to watch um, a Christmas story and we usually do that on Christmas Eve um, but yeah, I love that movie. That is my favorite Christmas movie. I love, love, love that movie. I also like Love Actually, but, um, yeah, that's one of our traditions. Another tradition is that we have a certain order things happen on Christmas Day. So we get up and we have stockings first, and then I have to make crepes <laughs> and then after that, so we have crepes for breakfast, and then I'll talk a bit more about the food in the next question, actually. And then we do the, like, big present opening after that. And, um, so it has to be, like, in that order. Um, and crackers. Uh, Brit, you know, British people have to have crackers at the table on Christmas dinner so we do that and we all have to wear the silly paper hats um, so that's another one that's a, a very common British thing though it's just not super common over here okay so I can't think I know there's others <laughs> I can't think of them right now ah, those are the main ones okay what holiday foods do you have like every year so I already said Christmas morning Christmas breakfast it's usually actually by the time we get them made and people eat them it's usually late morning close to lunchtime but anyway so crepes <coughs> excuse me and I only do sweet crepes it's not I don't believe in savory crepes um and the most popular way to eat them in our house is just with uh sugar and lemon juice um so that's one of our foods our another food is sausage rolls which are um incredibly british and um it's interesting because this year is the first year that my younger daughter's been vegetarian so i will be making sausage rolls with um vegetarian sausage and i've been eating them that way for years but it'll be her first go around with that but they're actually really good there's you can get really good vegetarian sausage so that's another one and she likes to eat sausage rolls while we unwrap our stockings and we always get lots of candy and other foods in our stockings so uh, it's kind of a whole just like eating mess from the time we get up right through breakfast and hours later and Kind of segueing into Christmas dinner eventually. We don't have any particular um, traditions as far as Christmas dinner though. Um, <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that. <coughs> I'm like froggy. Um, it, it uh, the usually in years past it's been turkey and all the trimmings, basically exactly the same at Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, I do not like ham. Well, I'm a vegetarian now, so I don't eat any meat, but I never, ever liked ham, so that was never uh, one of our things. But we've had uh, Christmas dinners where we've had completely different foods, and like this year, I have no idea what we'll eat because we have two vegans, 
two vegetarians and uh, two omnivores in the house. So I have no clue what we'll eat now. Let's see. Best Christmas ever. I have to give best Christmas ever to the first Christmas when Chris and I were together and we had the four girls, all four of our daughters came for Christmas and actually um, Chris's parents also came. His dad was still alive then so both his parents came and his sister and her husband came and so how many people is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there were ten of us like actually staying in the house um, and they were, I mean his Mom and Dad used to come and stay with us for like three weeks at a time. And I think his sister and uh, brother-in-law were only there like for a week. And then the girls were there for... The girls, his daughters from Kendo were probably there for 10 days. Maybe only a week. Anyway, so it was a really packed house. And then my dad also came on Christmas Day. But he lived in the same area, so he didn't stay at the house. But it was... I kind of feel like if you can do it monetarily, everybody should have a Christmas where there is an obscene number of gifts. Just once. Just once. Have an obscene number of gifts. So we all had a lot of gifts, but primarily it was for the girls. And um, we have... Uh, we always do stockings, as I already mentioned. And... Um, our stockings usually contain, I would guess, between 13 and 20 small gifts. And I will say this too, with very, very, very few exceptions. Uh, stocking stuffers in our house are like $2 or less. Um, so anyway, so we had stockings for all of us, including my dad. So what was that? So that was 11 stockings. And all of them having more than 10 gifts in. Okay. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, the girls had a huge number of gifts from us, from Chris and I. But then they also had gifts from my dad. And they had gifts from my mom, who didn't live there. And they had gifts from their grandparents, who were there. And they had gifts from their aunt and uncle, who were there, right? So... It was obscene. It was the biggest pile of gifts I have ever seen in my life. And the room that we, the family room where we had the tree. So we had the, we, the tree was there, right? And when the girls went to bed, and I, I'm trying to think what ages they were. Something like, wait, seven, eight, nine, right in there. Or eight, nine, and ten. Somewhere in there. Anyway, so when they went to bed, the tree was there, and there were a few gifts under the tree, but that was it. Well, after the kids went to bed, um, Brunella, which is my sister-in-law, and Alan, my brother-in-law, and I stayed up for hours, hours, wrapping Christmas gifts. Because we hadn't done most of it yet. I think Alan and Brunella actually had only... They may only have come on the 23rd, so, you know, we just hadn't had a chance yet to do all the wrapping. Chris was sick, and so he just went to bed and went to sleep. But <laughs> the three of us probably spent at least three hours, probably four or more hours wrapping gifts. And we went, and we it took us ages to, like, just ferry these gifts downstairs, because we did the wrapping in our bedroom. And so we ferried them all downstairs, and we piled them up around the Christmas tree. And there was a uh, a door to the outside, by the uh, like a French door, and you couldn't get out the door because <laughs> the presents were piled so high, and um, the entire corner of the room was just like the gifts like came like way out into the room. And what we did was we put a piece of ribbon across we had a split level house so there was like two short flights of stairs down from the bedrooms 
from the, from the bedrooms. Boys, stop! Stop! These dogs bark at everything. It's so annoying. So there was two short flights of stairs down from the bedrooms to the family room. So we put a ribbon across the stairs and said uh, it had to, we hung a sign on it that basically said do not go down the stairs or something because we wanted to film them and get their expressions as they saw this obscene number of gifts for the first time. And I don't remember exactly how many gifts we ended up. And this was counting all of the stocking stuffers too, remember. But I know it was over 300 things that we wrapped. So it was, it was crazy. It was absolutely insane. And so we got pictures and we got video of them coming down the stairs and seeing this just colossal pile of things under the tree and their faces just like, oh, you know, and their mouths dropping open and everything. And we just sat there for hours watching the kids unwrap everything. And I am like, I want to see every gift unwrapped by every person. So I'm always like, telling people, oh, slow down, wait, 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 I haven't seen, oh, wait, I want to watch that, I want to see you do that, I want to see you open that, and I can, like, um, I could, like, sit with my gifts all day and not open them, actually, um, I'm not allowed to do that, but I could, but anyway, so that was an absolutely fabulous, fabulous Christmas, and, uh, I would say that's my best Christmas ever, and, even though it was crazy, and even though we spent, we didn't spend a huge, obscene amount of money, actually. And it, certainly we, you know, didn't spend money we didn't have. But it was, it was worth it just to do that once and to see their faces. It was fantastic. Okay, my favorite Christmas song. Um, my favorite carol is Oh Holy Night, which is kind of funny because, um, of course, I'm I'm atheist, but um, you know I grew up with the carols and everything, and I still love them actually, and still sing them. Um, and that's probably my favorite um, carol. My favorite uh, other Christmas song, however, is Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer, which I think is hysterically funny. I love that song. Least favorite Christmas song. Hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Rocking around the Christmas tree, maybe? Which I just think is like, eh, annoying. Maybe that. I'm not sure. Best gift ever. And this is specifically a, like an actual thing that you open, not like an experience or my best gift ever was my kids. Or, you know, not anything like that, which is not true anyway. Because um, I'm honest. <laughs> Best gift ever. Hmm. I don't know, actually. I've had a few that I've really, really liked. Um, Chris got me two years ago. He got me that ring set right there. And that's one of my favorites. Um, my engagement ring, my original engagement ring broke. Um, it's just the band split. Oh, excuse me. But I was trying to find it yesterday and it's gone. It's disappeared and I don't expect I will ever find it. So I'm pretty sad about that. But he bought me these as a replacement because of the other ring, you know, breaking. Um, I actually am wearing my original wedding ring, which is that one thing. I can't see. It's, we kind of can see. And then this is uh, the ring that my husband, the one that I'm wearing instead of the engagement ring is an emerald, you can't really tell. But it's, um, that was my 40th birthday present from my husband. But anyway, so my ring set is one. And I received, um, my daughter bought me a snowflake necklace with a an aquamarine in it. 
a few years back and a snowflake is a symbol that's very meaningful to me so that would be another one and um, this is really weird but back when I was around I think actually it, it was probably the year that I was 19 I opened a gift I couldn't sleep and I opened one gift from my stocking my stocking was on the end of my bed and it was a pair of fuzzy socks and um, I put them on and fell asleep and I've always remembered that because it was like just the little thing I needed was just warm feet and it, it was like they were there and it was cool um, and I know I'm probably forgetting something absolutely fantastic but I can't think right now okay eight is worst gift ever and again this is like real gift not um not you know something amorphous or whatever um I can't think of anything I'm there's very few times that I get gifts that I'm like oh I don't like that um I'm very very easy to please as far as gifts go I like all kinds of stuff and I enjoy all kinds of things so it's actually hard to give me a gift that I really really don't like um there was one year when the girls got a gift that was one of the worst things I've ever <coughs> ever <laughs> seen and it was a like a ski mask kind of a thing yeah and they both put them on. It was like, it didn't have like the eye cutouts, I think, but I think it was like one that, you know, covered their head and came here and they were like incredibly ugly and we had no clue why. I'm not going to say who it was that bought them, but we were like, what the heck? So that was really weird, but I can't even think of one for myself. I really can't. Okay, question nine, almost done tree real or fake um we have had a fake tree for many years um my one of my ex-husbands had a relative like a cousin or something that was actually killed in a house fire that started uh on a real tree when a real tree caught fire and that kind of put me off of having real trees i love the smell of a real tree but that's it i can't stand the the needle falling um, that I hate that and we are so bad about getting rid of the tree putting it away after the holidays um, and I would just worry all the time about it being a fire hazard so I'd rather have a fake tree also um, for years actually we had one that had like it was a pre-lit tree and the problem with a pre-lit fake tree is that eventually the lights quit working and you then have to get all the lights off the tree which we did a couple of years ago and it was oh it took hours and we get got so scratched up from um the you know needles on the tree and everything and it was just a pain in the butt so i would say do a do a fake tree do not get a pre-lit one <laughs> don't do it okay so and then the final question number 10 is if money was no object what would I want the most for Christmas and again this is a thing not like I mean the thing I want most would be for myself and my family to be healthy um, but for actually like something I could open or whatever uh, I don't know actually I think this is surprising I didn't even know that I would say this I think maybe a car like my own car I'd like that that would be cool that would be a really neat thing to get <laughs> uh, yeah there we go I, I don't know what that car would be because I'd have to go shop around and find out, but uh, yeah. So, hopefully some people will see this and will do their own Christmas tag. I would love to see what your answers are to all those questions. And thank you so much for watching and happy holidays. 
Merry Christmas. Happy Vlogmas. <laughs> Bye.